Hello friends, welcome back to the channel Techno49. I hope everyone is safe. In today's video, I would be talking about how we can do the forecasting with three weeks data with the help of weighted moving average. So this is one of the most important method in forecasting. You can calculate the projections like on the basis of the historical data. So now in today's video, uh, we will be discussing how we can do the forecasting with the help of weighted moving average on the basis of the confidence what I have on the front of my screen so now you can see that i have taken week actual forecast so we have to find out all the components which are highlighted in yellow before going to the video i would request you please subscribe share and share this video to the maximum people so the people who are trying to get into wfm workforce management profile so they can have better understanding and they can track any kind of interviews so now let's start how we can do that so this is the week i have taken 12 weeks here and then the actual volume i have taken here so now on the basis of that i have to find out the forecast and how i can do the forecast with the help of weighted moving average so the weighted moving average is the weightage given to the most recent data and then it gets decreased and then decreased suppose if i just want to make the forecast for april month so i have to give high number of weightage to the march data right so i can give 50 percent to the march data feb month i can give 30 percent jan month i can give 20 percent so on the basis of that you can just have the deviations in the numbers uh, what kind of percentage you want to give to the most recent data after analyzing the historical things and on the basis of your experience so we have to calculate the forecast for fourth week so i'm giving 50 percent weightage to third week 30 percent to second week 20 percent to first week so let's calculate it with the help of weighted moving average so the last month actual volume is that 22 multiplied by your 50 percent plus then we have second week data 19 multiplied by 30 percent plus then we have first week data which is 20 multiplied by 20 percent so this would be the forecast with the help of weighted moving average so now we have to calculate the fourth week forecast with the help of weighted moving average so now let's calculate it so the third week volume is 22 multiplied by your 50 percent plus second week actual 19 multiplied by 30% plus 20 first week actual volume multiplied by 20% so this would be the forecast and we just simply have to drag it down but before doing that we have to freeze the cells so the numbers do not get changed so now let me just freeze this so I have done that so the moment I hit the enter I would be having the numbers and I can just simply scroll it down after that we have to calculate the forecast error so the forecast error would be your actual minus your forecast and then simply drag it down to rest of the cells also so this would be the forecast error you can see that some of the values are coming into negative also so to avoid that negative we have to use the formula absolute and then this so this would be the absolute value of forecast error after that we have to calculate the squared forecast error so if forecast error is 20.7 for fourth week and then square 428 4.49 so simply drag it down to other cells also so this would be the squared forecast error now we have to calculate the percentage error. so the percentage error would be your forecast error divided by your actual so that would be your percentage error and the same way for rest of the weeks also so again we have to use the absolute to avoid any negative value in the percentage absolute and then your 70 so now you can see that we have calculated all the values which were highlighted in yellow now after that we have to get the sum so sum would be your simple 
simply can get the sum two forty six and then simply drag it down to the rest of the values. So now we have to convert that into percentage and the percentage would be a 210.41 percentage. After that, we have to find out the mean forecast error, mean absolute error, mean squared error, mean absolute percentage error. So after that, we have to find out the mean forecast error. How we can do that mean forecast error? That would be your MFE. That would be your mean forecast error is your sum of forecast error divided by your we have data of 12 weeks minus we are considering three weeks data to find out the forecast so that would be three if you are taking four weeks so that would be four weeks the moment i hit the enter i would be having this 0 0.6 so we after that we have to calculate the mean absolute error. so the mean absolute error sum is this one 41.8 divided by 12 minus 3 so that would be a 4.6 after that we have your mean squared error that would be your g3605.94 divided by 12 minus 3 after that we have to calculate the mean absolute percentage error so that would be your 210.41 divided by 12 minus Three. I hope you like the video. Please subscribe and share.